Dune, Part 2, was originally scheduled for a November 23 theatrical release, leaving eager fans anticipating the continuation of the story. The first Dune film impressed with its meticulous attention to detail and world-building. It faithfully adapted the source material, leaving viewers in suspense. The second installment is expected to seamlessly pick up where the first left off. In Part 2, we will witness Timothy Chalamet's character, Paul Atreides, and his mother's journey as they align with the Freeman after being banished from Arrakis due to a Harkonnen coup. Paul's mission for revenge against the Harkonnens and his pursuit of regaining his father's lost power will be central to the plot. The film will also explore Paul's relationship with his love interest, Chaney, who had limited screen time in the first movie. Additionally, Lady Jessica, Paul's mother, will delve into Freeman culture and give birth to a daughter who plays a significant role. Meanwhile, the Harkonnens will scheme to prevent Paul's return and rise to the throne. The trailer for A Part 2 was unveiled in anticipation of the original release date, offering a glimpse of what's to come. Further trailers and promotional material are expected closer to the new release date, which has been pushed to March 15, 24, due to the WGA and SAG AFTRA strikes. The delay allowed for more comprehensive promotion, although it confused many, given the already underway promotional campaign. The second film will feature returning stars such as Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, and Zendaya. Bardem and Zendaya are anticipated to have more significant roles in this installment. Stellan Skarsgård reprises his role as the head of the Harkonnen family, joined by newcomer Austin Butler as Phaedrotha. Florence Pugh and Christopher Walken are new additions to the cast, with Pugh portraying Princess Ireland and Walken as the Emperor of the Galaxy. Leah Seydoux will also join, playing Margot Fenring.